Harvard professor warns of an apocalypse which is a threat bigger than NASA's feared asteroid impact. This is by Freddie Jordan on Express UK. The head of NASA urgently came out with a warning of an apocalyptic danger of impending asteroid collision within decades. This is uh, due to the this week's exercise, the drill that they had concerning an asteroid impact. And uh, he was very serious about the impending strike because he says on average we get struck about every 600 years and it's uh, not going to be good. He said we have not been struck for thousands of years and it's just about time. Um, now the head of NASA said that and in the meantime we have a Harvard professor who has fears that there's even a mere, a more impending threat than that. And uh, the head of uh, astronomy at the prestigious Ivy League University, Harvard that is, Avi Loeb, says the immediate risk is more self, of a more self-inflicted wounds, the possibility that the climate would change as a result of human activity. And if we don't get our act together, that's gonna be more severe than any asteroid strike coming in couple of uh, decades because of the uh, the the extreme weather conditions as we've seen this past year the three uh, bomb cycles alone in the United States the flooding everywhere now he says we have to be worried about that first he says I would think but the race to the destruction of humanity appears to be heating up as NASA administrator Jim Bridestein warned us a couple of days ago that the Earth should be prepared for an asteroid collision. And uh, what can we do about that? We're not ready to do anything about that, if that's the case. He was speaking to the International Academy of Astronomics Planetary Defense Conference on Monday. Uh, that's the drill that they had. Uh, that lasted up to uh, yesterday. He said, I wish I could tell you these events are exceptionally unique, but they are not. We have to make sure that people understand that this is not Hollywood. It's not about movies. In other words, he's saying this is a real thing. He said it's not about ultimately protecting the only planet we know right now. That's about protecting the only planet we know right now to host life, and if that is our planet Earth. Bradstein used the example of the Chelyabinsk event, which took place February 2013. That's when a meteor about 65 feet across entered Earth's atmosphere and flew over Russia. It was a huge blast that it created and it entered, uh, when it entered, injuring more than 1,500 people. Almost uh, all of them were, of course, because of the window smashing. And it damaged over 7,000 buildings. He said it was the largest object to hit Earth since the Tunguska event of 1908, when an exploding comet or asteroid destroyed 2,000 square kilometers of Siberian forest. Statistically, meter events of that size happen once every 60 years, but Bridenstine pointed out that there have been three such incidents over the last 100 years. He said, we have to use our systems, our computers, our capabilities to ultimately get a lot more data, and we have to do it faster. We know for a fact that the dinosaurs did not have a space program, but we do, and we need to use it. So NASA has been directed by the U.S. government to detect and track 90% of near-Earth objects, 460 feet or larger. But there are an estimated 25,000 objects in this category of 460 feet or larger, and the agency has only cataloged about a third of them up to now. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.